30 on CBS 2. Got to catch up on your soaps? Click CBS.com and relax. Anybody out there? Open this door. It's locked. We're locked in here. Hey! Must be somebody out there. Yeah, like that doctor supposed to meet you in here. <laughs> well, obviously, he gave me the wrong room number. Yeah, just like I got this note from, supposedly from Barbara, with the same wrong room number. So clever, John, so clever. What's that? Oh, come on, cut the act. I know you wanted to just get me in here, all alone. Don't flatter yourself. Not after the stuff you pulled with me this morning. You're the last person in the world I want to be locked in a room with. Make love, not war, Johnny boy. How long can we leave them in there? Well, until Lisa realizes that she can't live without that creep. Once they get nice and cozy, I'll snap a few incriminating photos and then just let him try and tell a judge that I'm the unfit parent. Uh-oh. Julia, just the person I wanted to see. You have that look. What, what look? That look you get when you're trying to put something over on someone. And how do you think Ben's going to feel about you bailing that hustler out of jail? We were just talking about I you. I heard you. You're going to bail Brad out of jail? I already did. You told Camille a new story about the night Dad died. In your version, it was Mom who ran our father down. Isn't this fun? Yeah. Yeah, getting out and seeing the world a little. And soon your daddy will be bringing you to the doctors by himself. And to lots of other places so he can show off his beautiful little girl. Oh, gosh. There's that new phone your daddy gave me. Hello? Hi, I'm here. Um, I'm sorry it took me so long. I, I, I couldn't find the on switch. Well, we got here with no problem, and we're going to see the doctor in a few minutes. Hi. Snyder, Dr. Harris at Memorial set up an appointment for us oh. to see Dr. Dorado. Yes, of course. The doctor will be with you shortly, but I need you to fill this out first. Thank you. Um, it, we'll be careful. Very careful. She's beautiful. Well, yours is lovely, too. Thank you. How old is she? Almost three months. Oh, that's the same age as my little girl. As the world turns. This may take a while. I'm gonna sit down. Oh, yeah. oh, what a cutie. Oh, hi there. <laughs> see the baby? Oh, yeah. She doesn't get to see many people as tiny as she is. <laughs> they kind of look alike, don't you think? Yeah, I see what you mean. Hello? Hey! Stephanie's the new girl. We can teach you. Never eat in the dining hall except, except for breakfast. breakfast. And you want pizza? You can make Trishka pizza. Sauce, cheese, pepperoni. Trishka pizzas. I could smell these all the way down the hall. You feel like nachos? Nachos? Yes. Crunchy nachos with the cheese all melted in the nooks and crannies. This is like study food. I think she's gonna do okay. Trishka, open a box, make up a snack. 
and try Triscuit Thin Crisps, the crispy triangle that snacks like a chip. No one knows more about the safety of pain relievers than doctors and hospitals. And the pain reliever they choose most? Tylenol. Why? Because doctors know Tylenol is least likely to have drug interactions, and it won't cause stomach irritation the way aspirin and even ibuprofen sometimes can. For over 20 years, Tylenol has been the first choice of doctors and hospitals. When safety matters, Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. Our battery lasts 80% longer. We're 81% longer. Instead of trash talk, how about some straight talk? Try real back. If you don't think they're just as good, you get your money back. You can't lose. I like that. <laughs> More Bomex. Do you guys know something I don't? <laughs> yes. yes. Bomex really clears up diaper rash. And Bomex wipes off easily. Without irritating baby's skin. Thanks, guys. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Bomex clears up diaper rash, wipes off easily. Night and day, you are the one. Feel fresh, dry, 24 hours of every day with Lady Speed Stick Gel. I only you neath the moon and under the sun. This gel glides on clean and clear, never leaves a trace. 24-hour Lady Speed Stick Gel. Breeze through your day, however long it lasts. Day and night, night and day. By many. Now why would I try to put something over on you, Julia? Because you hate my guts. I don't think about you enough to hate you. So did Jack tell you to trail me, or is this something you came up with all on your own? I don't have to trail you. Every time I turn around, you're right there looking for trouble. I'm looking to mind my own business. Maybe you ought to try to do the same thing. <coughs> <coughs> Bronchitis. Or maybe pneumonia. I don't know. I'm really sick, so just stay away from me. That's why I came to the hospital. <coughs> well, uh, I hope you're feeling better. <coughs> Thanks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, uh, Julia, be sure to, um, give my love to Jack now. <coughs> She's not as dumb as she looks. She caught on right away that we were up to something. Oh, who cares? What are we doing really anyway? We're getting two people together who are simply mad about each other. Open this damn door! Sounds like love to me. Hey! Is anybody out there? Come on! You know, while I'm breaking my knuckles here, you might want to yell out something, you know? Two voices are better than one. What do you think that I staged this whole thing? Yeah, I don't know what to think about you, Johnny. I really don't. Ah, ha, ha. Uh-huh, what? I'm going to pick the lock. Just oh. stay out of my way. <laughs> you ever picked a lock before? Oh, shut up, John. Don't try to distract me. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. Oh, boy. Oh. What? What's the matter with you? Oh, I think I'm getting a headache. Mm. <laughs> Well, don't expect me to come over there and massage your temples. No, of course I don't expect you to touch my head at all. You know, you just continue to worry about your luck picking. Oh. Whoa. Oh. You know something? I think it's a pity I don't have my purse with me. I could give you some of my migraine pills. No, don't, 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 don't worry about me. It'll go away. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not worried yeah. about you. It's just your moaning and groaning. It gets on my nerves. Yeah, I'll well, be quiet. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. Just stay there. Oh. Sit up now. Close your eyes. Oh. Shut your mouth. Be quiet. Oh, I really appreciate this. <laughs> See, John, I don't ever remember you getting a headache before. Oh, well, you know, there are there are those days. You, yeah. you know, you just you feel like you want to break all the furniture in the house. You know, <laughs> it's just so bad. But uh, getting a headache is a lot less destructive and cheaper. Mm -hmm. yeah, well. I myself would prefer a few broken chairs. Oh, well, I know what you're saying. I, I made my bed, and so I better just lie in it. But I must tell you, walking into that party that you threw and, and seeing all those people there that I know and being with my new pregnant bride, the board of directors, they were all, they looked like, well, like I had gone totally wacko. And then to see you and how happy you were, how humiliated I was, well, it's lucky that my brain didn't explode. Yeah, maybe it did explode, John. Maybe that's why you've got such a swelled head. Mm, you know, there's nothing like you. John Dixon, hmm? you don't... You don't have a headache. Oh, oh I ought to give oh, you such a... Oh. <sighs> ben, he's my friend, and he is in a whole heck of a lot of trouble right now. Ben... 
She's taken in every stray animal since she was a kid. Mama, I can speak for myself. Be my guest. Look, I, I know that I said I'd have no contact with Brad and I'd leave it alone. But I, I, I can't turn my back on him now. He helped me survive, Ben, and I, I have to help him. I, I just... Brad was caught with two million dollars of ransom money that belonged to Lillian Holden. Jack thinks he got it from David Stenbeck. I know. Brad and Molly, they found the money. They, they dug it up in the ground, and their only mistake was just not turning it in right away. But I know, but as soon as, as soon as he found out what it was and who it belonged to, he didn't want to have anything to do with it. He was trying to get away when Jack arrested him. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to get away, but he wanted to leave the money where Jack would find it. Honest to goodness, he didn't want to have anything to do with it, and I... He was going to give it back, Ben, and I believe him. He's, he's never lied to me before. Look, I can't turn my back on him now. I, I have to help him. You mind filling me in on the details of this new story of yours? I want to know exactly what happened the night you claim our mother killed our father and let you take the blame. Come on, I'm damn interested. Camille, Camille, you shouldn't have done this. Brad, I'm sorry. But I don't I... need you making up stories to protect me, all right? Do you understand me? I love the name Hope. I once knew triplets named Faith, Hope, and Charity. <laughs> they were so adorable. Oh, what's your little one's name? This is Melinda. Aww. Yeah, see? Hey, Melinda, this is Hope. Yeah, your first little friend. <laughs> it's so nice Hope's daddy is uh, coming along with her. Melinda's daddy wanted to be here for the checkup, but he couldn't make it this time. Oh, is this like a routine exam for Melinda? Oh, of course, routine as can be. This little dumpling's never even had a sniffle. Yeah, she's one of the healthiest little babies I've ever known. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. I just wish your poor daddy were not having such a hard time recuperating. Oh, is he very sick? He was, but he's... Uh, oh. Oh, gosh. No, I, I, I shouldn't be saying anything. Uh, this, this family's very private. Oh. Um, uh, they'd hate me babbling about their personal business. Oh, Melinda's not your child. Oh, no, I'm her nanny. Oh. Oh. Dr. Lyle's ready for you now. Ah, and we're ready for the doctor, aren't we, baby? Yes, it was fun seeing... Oh, Hope and her <laughs> mommy. Maybe we'll see you sometime. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I think I've got this all filled out. Hey, you okay? What are you thinking about? Just that other little girl. To introduce the tastiest thing to happen to weed in years, we brought our spokesman to this field. There's just one problem. Hey! He's a little short. Presenting the flavorful new taste of Keebler Wheatables crackers. Stone ground wheat baked with a touch of oatmeal and golden honey. Naturally delicious taste from a true giant in his field. Everybody's a comedian. Keebler Wheatables. Oh, his head cold. I'm so clogged up. I just can't focus. You okay? Oh, if this meeting doesn't go well, it's all that work wasted. You gotta stay focused. I'll find a way. Clear the congestion with Tavis D, prescription strength. Just one gives you 12 hours of uninterrupted relief. To get that, you'd need four Tylenol cold pills. Tavis D clears your congestion, so you're clear-headed again. Why be congested? Be clear-headed, clear through your day with Tavis D. To steam clean and sanitize ceramic tile, linoleum, marble, sealed hardwoods, and more, just add water. And the steam cuts right through dried spills. Then just drop the magic cloth in the washer and store it away. The Enviro Steamer by Eureka. Hello. Got your new litter. It's not Brush Step, but it was on sale. How lucky is that? Cats know what they like in cat litter. Fresh Step. Your cat will thank you. Leonard and Vernita Cox wanted to refinance their house. It took the bank 60 days just to return their call. So they called the money store. From the time they applied to the time they got their check, 11 days. That's all it took to pay off their bills and get back on track. So give us a call. Some things are too important to put on hold. 
The Money Store. 1-800-LOAN-YES. Tonight, did the audience leave? Dave spacing out with Starship Captain Patrick Stewart, the enterprising John Stewart, and Faith Hill on an all-new Late Show tonight. What about the other little girl? It's just that she's here for a routine exam, and her nanny didn't think there was any reason to think that she would have anything wrong with her. It's the way that I felt when I would take Luke to the doctor and have his checkups and get his shots. And... I'll never, ever, ever take these children their, their health for granted ever again. I'm telling you, I just wish she didn't have to be here going through this, this specialist who may or may not know what's wrong with her. She is one tough little girl. She's been through worse. She'll make it. We're gonna make sure of it. Dr. Dorado will see Hope now. How much longer? Oh, at least another hour. Oh, I should have bought a magazine. Oh, oh, you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Joe just kicked a 50-yard field goal. Joe? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's what I'm calling him these days. Aw. I can just see him out there already. Out on the field, thousands of fans cheering, and Joe running out there and kicking that <laughs> ball through the goalposts. Mm -hmm. My all-American pro, Joe. Way to go, Joe. <laughs> that's my baby cuz. You know, this new life... It's gonna mean a new life to me, too. All those, those hypocrites who were so shocked, I mean, completely shocked at the things I did to get that trust fund. Well, I'm gonna laugh in their phony faces. It's gonna be me and Joe and the 50 million against the world when the world doesn't have a prayer. This kid is gonna have so much unconditional love from his mama. And he's going to love me back so much. More than it. Oh. <laughs> These darn hormones. Oh. Come here. Okay, I give up. That's it. I, I quit. Here, here, here. You want me to give it a try? Yeah, do. Give it a... Be my guest. I'm just... You know, I've got to get out of this room. I, I really... I can't take it much longer. Let's just pretend I'm not here. It's... Uh, that, that's not the whole point, you know. It's it's this room. It's I can't believe I walked in there. I just cannot believe that I came back into this little room. I just What's the matter? <sighs> it was a room like this. You know the night that Eduardo was shot? Remember? The night we were in the ER. Yes. You told me that it was just a superficial room. A room and I know it okay, so I but I had to get away from him. I mean I mean I didn't want him to see how scared I really was. And, but I didn't want to leave the hospital. I just needed a little privacy. And I found, I found a room just like this, just like this. And I just came in here so I could just sort of cry and shake and just get it all out of my system so I could go back and face everybody. There were a lot of things that probably should have been done differently that night. John, I didn't bring this up to get to you. I, I really didn't. I made some terrible mistakes in judgment that night. And... Um, and I went ahead with that malpractice suit. Come on, it was just... you just lost the man you love. I know, but I shouldn't have played you. You know, I think that was the start of it for you and me. That night in the ER. What? No, really, I think we started going at one another that night. We've been running around, chasing each other ever since. I think I hated you right up until I fell in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe the, maybe it's true what they say about that, you know? Well, oh, now, John, don't start that. It is not. Love is the opposite thing from hate. Yeah, yeah, hate. No, yeah. that's so stupid. That's not true at all. People know when they hate each other and when they love each other. Okay, all right. So, uh, well, then what is it with you, huh? Oh, please, John. No, come on. The, the, the truth shall set you free. What is it? You love me right now or you hate me? Brad, I can understand you're mad at me for breaking your confidence. Uh, well, uh, lying is not going to help. Look, there were times where you made me furious doing things that you thought were helping me without consulting I did me. not make up stories. This isn't a story. You were not behind the wheel when your father yes, was Yes, I hit. was. This secret isn't helping anybody. It is not a secret. I got drunk. I ran down my father. Yeah, 
That's a lie. How long are you going to live with it? It is not a lie. Look, Camille. It is the truth. This isn't going anywhere. Come on, baby, let's go. Mom, Brad, stop it. back off. Just Jack, stay the hell away please. from Please, look, what you told me at the island was the truth, and that's the same story that I told Jack because he deserves to look, know that. I don't need your help. I know this feels like a betrayal to you right now, but I'm only trying to help you, Brad. I don't Brad. need you. That night I came here to Oakdale. I intended on driving right through, but I had to stop because this woman, she ran out in front of my car, and if I had that chance to do it over again, I would drive around you and I would keep on going. Oh, nice going, especially since she just bailed you out. Get the hell out of here. Now! Don't even think about leaving town. You want to go after him? Uh, I don't want to hurt you, ever. Do what you have to. I trust you. You shouldn't have let her go, Ben. Winter weather can leave even unexposed skin itchy and dry. Did you know moisturizers aren't always up to the challenge of itchy dry skin? That's why there's new Cortisone 10 Plus. Among these, only Cortisone 10 Plus has 10 moisturizers like aloe and vitamins, plus the power of Cortisone 10 to stop itch and help heal. So for itchy patches of dry skin, even eczema or psoriasis, try new Cortisone 10 Plus. Uh, I'm a little nervous. It's your first day, Bleach Free. Well, what happens now? We'll both get stain fighters. Uh-huh. And then brighteners for colors. Ooh. But first, you get special enzymes instead of bleach, because you're Bleach Free. Ooh, I like it. Introducing new Bleach Free Clorox 2, a Bleach Free breakthrough that works with special enzymes to remove stains and keep colors bright. Get ready, colors. Here I come. Welcome to the family, Bleach Free. New Bleach Free Clorox 2. Hurry into Sears Portrait Studio for your holiday portraits, only $6.95 a sheet. Plus, take home this new collectible Rudolph Portrait Ornament, free. Holiday portraits, only $6.95, only for a limited time at Sears. It's a fever, an earache. Every minute she feels bad is a minute too long. Use children's Advil. So fast on fever, it controls it faster than children's Tylenol. Lasts up to eight hours, children's Advil. It's time our kids feel better, faster. Only Afrin has special formulas for nasal congestion, allergy congestion, children's congestion, and now for immediate relief of severe congestion. Afrin. Breakthroughs in breathing. In the beginning, Nick fell for Elizabeth, but now he's fallen for Meredith. No way. So Hallie and Annie are doing everything they can. They're recreating the night we met. To make Nick and Elizabeth fall in love again. Own Disney's The Parent Trap, rated PG, coming to video tomorrow. The FBI going global? You bet. Teaching crime-fighting secrets to students around the world. Tonight, should they be giving those secrets away? Go inside the new FBI. And Tuesday, have you seen this man? He's wanted, along with hundreds of thousands of other Americans. What's going on? An Eye on America special series on the CBS Evening News. When a doctor's pregnancy becomes a medical emergency, Call an ambulance. she'll make a stunning decision. You're putting your life at risk. L.A. Doctors, CBS Tonight. Why is this prince patrolling the streets of New York 48 hours Thursday? He's in position now. The ball is snapped to the holder. The holder puts it down, and the kicker is ready to go. Oh. <laughs> I just felt him. I did. Hey, Joe. It's Cousin Molly. Your mom and I can't wait to meet you. Molly. Thanks for helping me out tonight. I don't know what I would do without you. Well, you're never going to have to find out because I'm not going anywhere. You're absolutely the only person I can count on. I feel closer to you than, than to anyone. In a way, I never could with Rosanna. Well, you know what? I feel really close to you, too. After I have this baby and divorce John, it really will be us against the world. And even though I'm... 
I'm really looking forward to being a mom. I'm a little scared, too. I'm gonna need some help. I'll babysit. You know, this kid's gonna need a godparent. Are you interested? Interested? Carly, Carly, I would be honored. I would absolutely love to be little baby Joe's godmama. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think that was just a field goal. Mm. You're the one who said it was cut and dried, black and white. Look, John, what is it? Love or hate? John, just because you asked me a question, it sure doesn't mean I'm obliged to answer. Come on, you can level with me, can't you? You are... You, you push, 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 push. I guess that's a good quality for a doctor to have, but in a normal human being... You're... God knows you're not normal. But you... you you can really be very irritating. You, yeah. you never give up, do you? Never no, give up. No, I guess I never do. Do you think I should really be the other kind of person? This isn't about what I think or what I want. This is about you. You're just being so damn pushy. Yeah. I guess I do that to the, to the point of no return most of the time. I gotta tell you, there was only really one time ever that I felt like uh, giving it all up, checking it in. That was when I was diagnosed as having colon cancer. That was something. I ducked into a couple little rooms myself then. There I was, you know, I'd given a thousand and one pep talks to a thousand and one, you know, patients, but boy, when it came to myself, well, well, I'm a doctor, a scientist, so I knew all the stats. Hey, I was a goner. That's what I thought. But you weren't. Right. Hey, this is where I clam up on the piano and I sing a couple of choruses of I'm Still Here. Well, thank goodness there's not a piano in here. Mm. <laughs> what gave you hope? Just wanted to live, that's all. I'm a human being like anybody else. I wasn't a doctor. I was a patient. I was a human being wanting to live. And I'm still here raising hell. Yeah, raising hell and giving everybody migraines. Is that all I do for you? Give you a migraine? Oh, John. You know it's a lot more than that. You know I still love you. Hey there, handsome. You got a minute? Hey, yeah, for you, anytime. Lucky you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget here. it. <laughs> so, I just came back from Memorial. Oh, well, I can see you had a good session. Yeah, I saw Dr. Sullivan, and uh, we both decided that I am doing so much better, I don't even need to see him anymore. We decided? <laughs> okay. I decided. But I, I promised him that if I had any problems, I would call. But what I'm really excited about is mm. I signed up to be a volunteer again. I just, I really want to get involved in something again, you know? Mm, good for you. You got a lot to offer. Hey. Mm. Did you get some bad news? You seem really down. <sighs> My brother was just let out on bail. Camille came up with the money. You afraid he'll disappear again? Oh, well, it wouldn't surprise me at all. No, no. What's, what's bugging me is that Sheila, she and I got into it about uh, her putting herself on the line for Brad. And she got mad and threw me a curve about that car accident that killed my dad. What about it? Well, according to Brad, it was my mother who was behind the wheel, not him. Oh, my God. Yeah, and when I confronted him, he denied it, said that, that Camille who had made up this lie to protect him. I can't imagine that Camille would do that. What do you think? I think my brother rewrote family history, so Camille would feel sorry for him. Probably to get her into bed. And use my mother to do it. Can't believe Camille fell for it. Jack, do you think there could be any truth to it? Why did you let her go? She cares. She thinks she can help. <laughs> she can't help a guy like Brad Snyder. I mean, the more she gives, the more he's gonna take. Wait, what are you trying to say, Sarah Ruth? Ben, I'm saying that Camille is generous and good-hearted. If somebody reaches out to her, she's gonna reciprocate this, and, and I don't need to tell you, because you know. So why are you? 
because I don't think she realizes the effect she has on men. on the fritz but one way ticket to mexico on the bus is only about a hundred bucks and change i'm leaving tonight i need to get away as far from this town far away from my brother far away from you you're short of breath there's pain in your chest you may be having a heart attack now what do you do Call an ambulance. Good. And, and, and take Bayer Aspirin. It's now been proven that aspirin can do more than help prevent second heart attacks. Now, Bayer may actually help stop you from dying if you take it during a heart attack. Talk to your doctor now. Do you know where your Bayer is? Bayer. Powerful pain relief. And so much more. Oh? <laughs> Still paying too much for car insurance? GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more. At GEICO, we get the ball rolling on your claim quickly. Even in the middle of the night. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Introducing underpaints by Delicates, only at JCPenney. Save on intimate apparel at our semi-annual lingerie sale. Underpaints. See what we've done to beige. The more power, the quicker the flash, the brighter the smiles. Introducing new Duracell Ultra, with the power to get faster flashes and up to 100 more pictures. New Duracell Ultra. More power, more life. When she has diarrhea, dehydration is a big concern. That's why pediatricians recommend Pedialyte. Juice and sports drinks contain so much sugar that they can sometimes make diarrhea worse. But Pedialyte is formulated just for her, with the correct balance of carbohydrate and electrolytes. Besides, she doesn't need more sugar. She's sweet enough already. Pedialyte. Also, try Pedialyte Freezer Pops. Stay tuned for more of As the World Turns. Terry's sinister plot. I made a huge mistake. I've overdosed this guy. To destroy your marriage. I wanted him to be crazy in love with me, not just playing crazy. Begins to unravel. What's going on between you and Terry? Now is she about to get caught? I did a thorough check into your life story. Oh, if you only knew. Guiding life. Jill Beth Williams, home expert Katie Brown, and Allison Hannigan on Howie. Somehow you wound up without a corporate package, a company plan, or group policy. Yet every day you're forging ahead in uncertain times. Suddenly you get this monster pain shooting down your back. Wouldn't it be a relief not to have that $2,000 deductible? Well, now, through Kaiser Permanente, an affordable individual health plan is available. Just call 1-800-749-9302. You'll find our benefit package is one of the most competitive available, starting at $101 a month, including preventive care, hospitalization, $15 office visits, no deductibles, and prescription coverage. To receive a free no-obligation enrollment package, call 1-800-749-9302. So next time you're caught flat on your back, you won't have to worry about being flat broke. Kaiser Permanente, in the hands of doctors. Are you looking for an apartment, condo, or house? Call 789-RENT. It's free and easy. To find your new home, pick up the phone, call 789-RENT, or search our internet site. The address is CBS. Welcome home. Now 
you're not going anywhere, not till we get a handle on what just happened here. Hey, it's pretty clear to me. Okay, I thought I could trust you. I couldn't. What I told you about my mother was a secret. It, it was supposed to be between us. It shouldn't be a secret, Brad. That is not your call. Fine, okay? Whether it was or it wasn't, it is out now, so deal with it. But calling me a liar, running off like that, treating me like dirt, that is nothing. That is not a man that is acting like a coward. You know I am your friend, and I was just trying to help you. You know I deserve better than that. Yeah. You do. I'm sorry, but I thought you understood that this truth could not get out. Right? I can't do this to my mother. I don't know your mother. But my God, I have to believe that she's got to be concerned about what this awful secret is doing to her sons. Look, I've seen people and families hate each other for a lot less. This isn't fair. This is cruel. This is cruel for Jack. I did what I could do at the time. Okay, that was then. This is now. You love your brother. You need your brother. What are you trying to do? Are, are you trying to provide for me? If I can't have you, then at least I can have Jack. This has got nothing to do with us. This has all to do with us. That to do with our other secret. One night, we made love. And I told you I love you. Now, what if I told that to everyone else? What good would that do? It's the truth. Now, you want to know another truth? Every time I see you with Ben, it kills me. I want to go after you. I want to fight him for you. Is this what you want? I mean, because if I stay here, I'm going to feel like this. And then one day I'm going to snap. And I am going to go after him, and I am going to fight him, and I'm going to raise hell. And my brother's going to haul me off to jail until it's like a second home to me, and I am not up for that. And that's why when I hit the road this time, I ain't turning around for nobody. Fine, you want to run? You better keep running, because you're going to be a fugitive, Brad. I'll pay you that bail money back. I don't give a damn about the money. You want some more money because you're going to need it on the road. You're not thinking straight. I am saving my life. I am taking that bus tonight. Wait. Forget the bus. Take my car. What is this? What is this? Oh, you're trying to set me up, huh? You figure if I'm driving a stolen car, they could find me faster. It won't be stolen if the owner of the car is sitting right next to you. What are you doing? If you run, then I'm going with you. You know, I'm gonna love being part of Joe's life. In a funny way, I feel like... I feel like it'll make up a little for me not being part of Abigail's. You'll have more babies, Mom. Yeah, I know. I know, and that'll be fine. I just... I just wish I could have kept my little girl. You know, even though I know she's better off where she is. Well, I'm gonna make sure that this baby's always better off wherever I am. Well, you know what? You're not leaving anything up to chance. Little Joe is gonna have it all. He's gonna have a great mom, a fantastic godmama, <laughs> men kicking down the door to be his daddy, and enough money to buy a football team. Oh, as many football teams as he wants. <laughs> you admitted it. You love me. Don't let it go to your head, Johnny. Look, I'm going to do everything I can to get over you. I am so sick and tired of romance, I don't know what to do. I've had enough broken hearts. I have had more than my quota. I, I don't know. I don't think you can go against your nature, Lisa. You live for romance. No, not anymore. I am never, ever, ever going to fall in love again. I will find something else to do with my spare time. I will do something like bungee jumping or maybe a little crochet, a little belly dancing, a little I, I don't, soccer. I don't think any of those are going to do it for you. You know why? Because I don't think you were meant to be alone. Besides, you'll love me. <laughs> hey, do you know what? In a couple of months, I'm going to have custody of that child. Carly and I are going to be history. I'm going to ask you to marry me, and you're going to say yes. <laughs> Don't bet on it. I want to bet on that. Oh, yeah. Well, all right, then. It's a bet. You're We're going to be married by the, by the millennium. You shake on that. <laughs> you're going to lose this one, buddy. Yeah, we'll see, okay? <laughs> so basically, Hope has two symptoms. She's a little underweight, and her muscle tone's a little weak. That's right. So what can we do to help her out? 
keep doing what you're doing. I want to monitor at regular intervals, so bring her in next week. Thank you. Well, wasn't so bad, was it? I just, I just can't stand this. We just have to s sit around, wait, and see. I just wish we could put a name to what's going on here so we know what we're dealing with and what Pope has to deal with. Maybe these symptoms will disappear, and then we won't have to worry about what this thing might be. Oh. Just try and stay positive, okay? I know. I just want to get out of here because I am tired of doctor's offices, and I think the <laughs> Hopester is too, right, little one? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Snyder, would you like to set up another appointment for Hope now? Sure. Is everything okay? Uh, no, yes, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, running a bit late. I've got to get going. Your morning routine will never be routine again. Now there's Thermosilk, shampoos and conditioners turned on by heat to actually improve your hair's condition. Thermosilk. Where there's heat, there's healthy hair. What's inside new Luden's Herbal Throat Drops? Nature's soothing herbal remedies. For irritated throats, try new Luden's Herbal. Quit hogging the nuts. I'm not. R2. I'm not. Animal. It's a beaver. Give him a cashew. No, beavers don't like nuts. Uh -huh. Everyone loves Planters Nuts. Fresh roasted taste, and they're cholesterol free. Oh, he's good. He's very good. Planters, relax, <laughs> go nuts. Escape the demands. Experience the freedom. Leave the world behind. New Stetson Country Cologne for Men. Wear it and you're there. For a smart gift, give the Smart Clapper. How smart could it be? The Smart Clapper, a great gift for convenience, safety, and security. Clap on. Clap off. No more struggling to find a plug. Just clap on the fun. Set the dial to away. Enjoy the safety and convenience of the Smart Clapper turning on lights at the first sound it hears, even when you're gone. Clap on, clap off. The Smart Clapper is available at Walgreens, Eckerd, Osco, and Savon, and participating Ace Hardware. Planes now fly New York to Paris in under four hours. Titanium bikes can go over 65. News travels around the world in an instant. So how come pain relief isn't faster? Introducing Advil Liquid Gels, the first and only pain reliever in a faster-acting liquid-filled capsule that's gentle on your stomach. On tough pain, Advil Liquid Gels are stronger and faster than extra-strength Tylenol. Headaches to muscle aches. New Advil Liquid Gels. Pain relief. Stronger and faster. My mother went to pieces when my dad died. She lost her husband, and she had to cover for her son. She lied to protect Brad. It wasn't the other way around. Were there any witnesses to the accident? No, just Brad and Mom. There was no way she was behind the wheel of the car that night. No, I just mean, she had a drink every once in a while, you know, like anyone else. But I, I never saw her drunk. And if she had been drinking, there's no way she would get behind the wheel of that car. Maybe you need to ask some questions about that. <sighs> no way I'd believe the answers. I, I wasn't thinking of Brad. When was the last time you talked to your mom? Camille and I are getting married. She loves me. She's committed to me, but that doesn't give me the right to tell her who she can and can't see. And I don't want to have to do that. I just want to trust her. And I do. Well, so do I, I. But I don't trust Brad or guys like Lou. Oh, don't even go there, Sarah Ruth. I'm just trying to make a point, Ben. No, you're not trying to make a point. You're trying to make trouble, just like you did when Lou was here. You know, you're doing a good job of covering it, but you still don't want me marrying your daughter, do you? So you're using Brad to stir things up again. That's ridiculous! Camille and I are getting married, and you're not stopping it. Nobody is. What are you trying to prove now? I'm not trying to prove anything. I know you don't want to leave with me. I don't want you to leave at all. But if you think running is the answer, then fine, then I'm going to go with you. Why? Because you did it for me. That night when you picked me up on the side of the road. I needed to have someone with me. I couldn't be alone. And God knows what would have happened to me if I was by myself. I was in a bad place, and you are in that same place right now. I'm not leaving because I'm sick. 
No, you're leaving because of me. Because of what I did to you. I was needy. So I, I let you, I let you in. I let you take care of me. I let you make love to me. And then when I felt better, I expected you to just go on with your life like nothing had happened. It was selfish. And I hurt you, obviously. I hurt you really bad. You want to make it up to me now? By leaving with me? What do you think we're going to do? Call Ben from every rest stop and, and tell him that you're taking care of me until I get over with? I, I don't think so. I need to do something. I need... You want to help me get my life back on track? You get in that car with me. And you get in that car with me. And you drive away with me, and not just for the night. You drive away with me, and you never come back. Next appointment's all set up, ready to go? Uh, no, I'm not. The woman that I was speaking with before, yeah. she ran out of here so quickly, and she ran out and she took my diaper bag. Here we are. You'll be happy to know your daughter passed her examination with flying colors. I saw that woman and baby at the doctor's just now. An ordinary cordless vacuum. The Dust Buster, the most powerful cordless handheld vacuum you can buy. The Dust Buster, now with VersaPak power. Built by Black & Decker. So you think Santa will like these red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. <laughs> he does exist. They do exist. Oh. Uh, Santa? Plane tickets to the town where she was born. $1,200. Train to the house where she grew up. $63. Pints at the pub where she met your dad. $8. Finally understanding where your mother was coming from? Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's Platinum MasterCard. Accepted all over. Even pubs in Ireland. Jack Frost is a must-see family film. Oh. Michael Keaton and Kelly Preston give top-notch performances. An entertaining oh. fantasy that's heartwarming and enchanting. Excuse me! Funny, sweet, filled with non-stop magical fun. Oh, hey, I slung down. You nuts. Jack Frost will warm your heart. This is the best Christmas I ever had. Jack Frost. You're the man. Nope, I'm the snowman. Rated PG. Starts Friday, December 11th. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. When you're not happy, my sky... Nothing's worse than when your baby has a cold. That's why we created Johnson's Soothing Vapor Bath, enriched with aromatic rosemary, eucalyptus, and menthol. Just add a few capfuls to your baby's warm bath to help calm and soothe her. Soon you'll both feel more comfortable. Also, look for Johnson's Soothing Vapor Cream, the first and only soothing vapor cream gentle enough for babies. Our battery beats their battery. Says who? Says us. Instead of trash talk, how about some straight talk? Try real back. If you don't think they're just as good, you get your money back. You can't lose. I like that. Introducing the Crest Extender. With gentle extender fibers to clean deep between teeth. The new Crest Extender. Well, time to release the prisoners. Well, what do we say to them? You just agree with whatever I say, okay? All right. John Dixon! John Dixon, where are you? John? Uh, 
What, what are you doing? Oh. What are you doing in here? You Obviously, what's no, going on? We were locked in there. You know, how'd you know where to look for me? I didn't. We've been searching everywhere, right, Molly? Everywhere. Do you I mind? Do you mind telling me what you were doing in there with him? Well, it was an accident. We spent the whole time trying to pick the damn lock. All right, some accident. Tell me, Lisa, how much did you have to pay someone to lock you guys in there? You know, you can you can play all the silly little tricks you want to, but this is my husband. He belongs with oh, me. Oh, shut up there, Carly, for heaven's sake. You wouldn't care if he were locked in there with a dozen strippers. All you care about is that he's the father and the husband that you need until you get your 50 million. I'm out of here. Hey, listen, I'm going to win that bet. Don't bank on it, Buster. What is that supposed to mean? We made a bet. I'm well, gonna win it. What kind of bet? Listen, I'm late. I gotta see a patient. Why don't you go home? I'll meet you in a little while. Hell, I'm gonna make a bet, too. I'm gonna bet that those two didn't consummate anything in there. Yeah. Well, something happened. And I just have to make sure that it keeps happening until Lisa sleeps with him. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna make sure those two lovebirds share a perch. It's the last thing I do. Hey, Mom. It's Jack. Ben, please! You gotta believe me, I want you to marry Camille. I'm waiting for the wedding. You're the best thing that's ever happened to her. You don't have to attack me. I know. I... I'm sorry, Sarah. Ruth. Poor Ben. <sighs> You don't have to apologize to me, but just go after the man who's trying to steal your fiance. <sighs> I guess that means no elopement, huh? I just keep making this worse. I'm leaving. No, no, don't go, don't go. Brad, jumping bail is a bad move. What do you want from me? I, I, I want you to stay. I, I want you to work things out with Jack. I don't want you to run. I want you to have a life here. What life do I have? I've even lost my job. I'll, I'll find you another job. I will, I will play referee between your brothers. Don't you get it? You are better off without me. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Why are you so upset? Huh? Why don't you tell me? Tell me. No, don't make me say it, Brad. Don't. don't make me say it. She's fast asleep. I'm... I'm really sorry about before. I told you, stay away from the Snyders. I didn't even know it was them until I heard their name. Then I got out right away. It's too bad the Snyders bother you so much. They're really a very nice young couple. I will. You don't have to worry about that. I'll, I'll probably never even see them again anyway. Now, who could that be? <sighs> so sweet, so kissably fresh. My baby's skin is at its best when it's cleaned just right. For these delicate parts, I want a wipe that's not too dry. Try Pampers Baby Fresh with new Moisture Pillow Quilting. These special wipes contain just the right amount of moisture to help leave skin clean and fresh. And they're gentler than the other leading regular brand. When her skin's this perfect, this fresh, it's perfectly irresistible. Pampers Baby Fresh with Moisture Pillows. It's a beautiful morning. Bounce gives clothes, linens, and towels a freshness you can't help but notice. And your smile. 
In fact, you might find that adding a little bounce to your morning puts a little bounce in your step. And because bounce has time-released freshness, you can count on fresh days day after day. So put a little bounce in your morning and have a beautiful morning. Julianne has found her place with her brothers all these years by being one of the guys. She's tough. She has to be. Julia told me she was going to go out on her first date. What do you think you're going to wear? Which? I could wash it for you. It wouldn't take me long. Okay, whatever. For stains you don't know how to deal with, there's Tide with bleach. It has more stuff to get out more tough stains better than other detergents. And it helps keep colors bright. Julia knows exactly who she wants to be. She knows exactly who she is. I like that. Somewhere there's a job where you can take time off for a cold. Where someone will cover for you when you can't stop coughing. But until you find that job, there's Hall's Mentholiptus. Hall's Vapor Action goes right to work, soothing your throat, calming your cough. No one has time to be sick, but Hall's will keep you going when you are. Hall's, we're going to work. The hands that helped keep you together. The hands that kept you on the straight and narrow. The hands that gave you your freedom. Christmas. I don't believe the Christmas one. I got you. Look what we got. All deserve the look, fit, and feel of isotoner gloves. Hey, let's call Grandma. It's great. Here you go. Isotoner. Take care of the hands you love. Tonight, why is Raymond hanging out at his brother's new bachelor pad? You haven't actually gone out with any of these women, have you? And if you have, please talk slow. Then, it's a blind date disaster. I've seen Titanic 53 times. Becker. I feel like I am actually on that ship. Me too. An all-new episode right after Raymond, CBS Tonight. Two unlikely companions discover life saves the best for last. You're the best friend I ever had. Jenna Rollins and Diane Lane in Hallmark Hall of Fame's Grace and Glory, CBS Sunday. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, top cops of the world training under FBI agents. It's almost an international police force. The story later.